Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm David Knight. It's Thursday, November 21st, 2013, and here are our top stories. Tonight, the spy state continues its meteoric rise and now wants to peer inside your car. Good news on the battlefront, GMOs have been banned in the Big Island of Hawaii, and the InfoWars crew continues to make waves in Dealey Plaza. All this and more on the InfoWars Nightly News. Our top story tonight is the fight for the First Amendment. Now, tomorrow is the 50th remembrance of the assassination of JFK in Dallas, and the Dallas government has done everything in their power to try to shut down any mention of the assassination, to try to make it a commemoration of his life. That's commemorable, but that's not what happened 50 years ago in Dallas. It was a very dark time, and we need to look at what happened. It does not respect the memory of JFK to ignore what happened or who did it. We need to investigate this crime. People still want it investigated after 50 years because the story doesn't add up, but they have censored it. Now, we have a right as the people in the First Amendment, was recognized by the government, that we have a right to peacefully assemble and to redress our government for grievances. A lot of people have grievances about this way, about the way the investigation was conducted. And this is what happened last night. Who are you with? I'm with Dallas Police Department. Oh, a member of the establishment. They want to turn this into Tiananmen Square. So bring my camera people over. I want a live feed. Get my camera people over here. I can't wait to be given your unconstitutional thing. I swear to God, just like Pittsburgh, I'm going to sue everybody. Yeah, so just yeah. get ready, and I will sue you personally in civil rights court. So get ready. You think you think we're your slaves? You think this is North Korea? You think this is Tiananmen Square? You're going to find out. Better Police think officer again. just told me to get off this property. He says it's private property. Oh, I know. Hey, let's interview this cop. Yeah, no, no, it doesn't matter. They love it. They love serving the system. You wait till your pension funds are gone. You wait till this country's gone straight to hell. Just wait. Yep. You're going to get what you want. Yeah. Now, yeah. now, what is this I hear? Who's the uh, plain clothes person that's going to tell us they're going to give us tickets for handing out free speech in America? Oh, she huh? said that. Go ahead and say it on camera. Say it to the news. Don't say it to America. Breathe. Smile okay. while you're doing it. If no, tell us. Everyone can hear me. Give Here, me tell the us bullhorn. on the bullhorn. Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay, use the There are two city ordinances in the city of Dallas that are being okay. violated right now. I'm here to inform you of those violations. Within 75 feet of a freeway or service road, according to the Dallas City Ordinance, you may not hold a sign. Now, as Alex said in other parts of the video, if they had a pretty woman driving the tanks at Tiananmen Square, I guess that would be okay. This cheerleader for the Nazi state looks like a soccer mom, and I guess she's from the Ministry of Love, but she's there smiling and politely telling people that they can't be within 75 feet of the road, they can't be holding any signs, and of course, if they're not within 75 feet of the road, they won't, they'll be inside of buildings, they'll be on private property, there is no place to stand. So that's like saying you have to have a permit or a ticket to be anywhere close to the JFK assassination ceremonies, and yet you can't get those tickets, you can't get those permits. They're absolutely out of control. They have to be stood up to. Now, we've got more reports later in this broadcast about what happened today. And, of course, Alex is organizing for a large protest tomorrow on the actual anniversary of the assassination. Now, when we look at what the government has done with the JFK assassination, with the lies that we've seen from the Obama administration with the power grab that we've seen from the Obama administration, it just gets worse every day. We now see that a FISA court judge back in 2009 was amazed that the NSA didn't follow his orders. Well, isn't that amazing that the NSA would not follow his orders if they don't follow the Constitution, if they don't follow the law? This very judge is not following the Constitution or the law. Understand that a FISA court is an abomination to our Constitution. There is no jury. There is only a single judge. There's nobody arguing the other side of the case. He makes a pronouncement, and now is the worst part. 
The pronouncements are in secret. Nobody is allowed to see these decisions that come up. And this declassified decision looks like this. A big black mark on who was involved with it. And then pages like this. Do you see anything there? Okay, it is nothing but a head fake. It is still a top secret classified document. This is the kind of suppression of information that we've seen surrounding the JFK assassination. This is what your government thinks you need to know about what they're doing. But they want to know everything about you. No matter what you do, no matter where you go, they think that they should know everything about you, especially if they don't like your politics or if they think that you speak out too much about them. That's what we're going to see happening. But look at this article from Ohio. This is a, a Don Salazar's article, an Ohio man arrested for driving a car with empty hidden compartments. Now they have passed a law in Ohio saying that if you have concealed compartments, because those compartments might conceivably be used to carry controlled substances like drugs or weapons, that because you might be able to carry these things, that therefore it's illegal to have that. <laughs> so it's kind of a pre-crime. It's kind of a twist on pre-crime and the civil asset forfeitures that we've seen along with the drug wars for many, many years where they charge a car or they charge an airplane or boat or a stack of cash. They charge those inanimate objects with crimes and they confiscate them even though they know and because they know that the owner of those objects did not commit a crime and they know that they can't prove anything so they seize the actual asset. Now here we are with them saying that if you even have something that they call a trap car, that's now a felony. And the law itself, however, says that this does not apply to a box, a safe container, or other items added to the vehicle for the purpose of securing valuable electronics or firearms as long as the said container does not contain a controlled substance or visible residue of a controlled substance. But again, it's just an out of control government doing whatever they feel like doing arresting us, charging us, confiscating our property when no crime has been committed. This is what the war on drugs has been about from the very beginning. It is not something to help society. You don't help society by using force. You help society by helping people to understand what their limits are, what the consequences of drug abuse are. You cannot stop it by interdiction. That was never their objective. Their objective with the war on drugs was to take our civil liberties. And from that standpoint, the war on drugs is not a failure. The war on drugs has made government much more powerful than it ever was that we could have ever imagined. And it creates this kind of Alice in Wonderland legal structure, a framework for tyranny. And that's what we're seeing being done over and over again. But it gets even worse on the road because now we're seeing that there's this massive push from the government to know everything about where we're driving and even to the extent that they want to know who's in the car with us. But look at this first article, Privacy's Worst Nightmare. This is from RT. Company advertises that they have over one billion license plate records. Now, this company that's putting this as Vigilant Solutions, and they're advertising this to law enforcement, and they have this clever little acronym. They always have these great acronyms, LEARN, Law Enforcement Archival and Reporting Network. And what they do is they collect information from license plates, so and then they retain this information and cross-correlate it. And as this one blogger pointed out, Federal, state, and local law enforcement appear to agree with the NSA's collect everything mentality when it comes to tracking the movements of innocent motorists. And they point out that many jurisdictions have no retention policies in place. So once they identify your license plate, they can keep this, in some cases, indefinitely. But in one example here in Jersey City, New Jersey, where they only have 250,000 residents, a quarter of a million, they have over 10 million of these license plate recordings where they've identified when and where people are driving because they can keep those images on file for five years. So the government in so many cases wants to know everything about you. This is like the NSA. This is like the recordings on the telephone poles where they're recording our voices, where they're taking pictures of our faces to use for facial recognition. They're doing it in our cars. They want to know and track and control our every movement. This is what the TSA will be doing. They are the travel security administration, not the airport. It's going to be everywhere. Our government wants to contain us as if we were slaves. Now look at this, the NHTSA, that's the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, may mandate this year that new cars have to broadcast 
a lot of information to each other. They have a protocol called vehicle to vehicle, V to V, and it would broadcast via radio wave the car's location, direction, speed, and possibly even the number of passengers that it is carrying. Now, when this got pushed back, this is a story from CNS News, and when they talked to the NHTSA administrator, he said, oh, we have no plans to really use this against you. We've heard that before from Obama, haven't we? This is what he said. Now, when CNS News contacted NHTSA, a spokesman said that they have no plans to enable the government or private entities to track individual motor vehicles. Well, we've heard all of that before. We heard that from Obama when he signed the NDAA. We heard that he had no plans to use these broad powers to arrest people without cause, to hold them indefinitely, to deport them or transport them to another jurisdiction. Introducing Pro One, all of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139.